you're going to be able to import your Xbox 360 Halo games, Forge maps, and game types into the Master Chief Collection. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here today for another Halo The Master Chief Collection news update. You're going to be able to pull your game maps and modes and save files from your original Xbox 360 games from Halo 3, Halo 4, and Halo Reach and you're going to be able to bring them over to the Master Chief Collection. The following information comes from Halo Waypoint. I highly recommend you guys go over and read the full article in its entirety, as I'm only pulling what I feel are the most important parts from that article. With that said though, let's go ahead and get into it. The article reads as follows. Legacy maps and game types file share migration. Many online have been asking the question, are we ever going to be able to play our forged maps that we made in previous Halos? The answer to that question is yes. In the future, we will be doing a one-time copy of both maps and game types that you have uploaded to your file share so that we can begin preparing them for future implementation in MCC. This copy will occur for every Xbox Live account with maps and modes that it has in its file share content saved locally will not be transferred. What is happening? This is a one-time service for bringing maps and game types from your profile's original Halo 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 4 Xbox 360 file share to the MCC on Xbox One and PC. If you have maps and game type files that are not on your profile's file share, they will not be migrated. Only content on your file share in the original releases for Halo 3, Halo 4, and Halo Reach from the Xbox 360 will be brought to MCC. These maps and game types will work on both Xbox One and PC versions of MCC. When is this happening? Due to the complex nature of this process, we will only be able to do a single one-time migration for each file type, so we've separated them into two separate days. One day is for maps and one day is for game types. By allowing players to fill up their file share with maps during the first pool and again with game types on the second pool, players can maximize their slots and bring over as many of each file type as they can fit in their file share. We do not have a definitive date of when this will happen yet, but please begin loading up your file shares on each game beforehand in preparation to get them copied over. What will I have to do? Load up Halo 3, Halo Reach, and Halo 4 on your Xbox 360 or on your Xbox One via backwards compatibility and ensure that your local files you want to copy over to the MCC are uploaded to your file share before each pull. We do not have a date yet, but we will prov be providing one in the near future. An important note, which we will reiterate when we are closer to copy, is to leave your game types and maps on your file shares for at least 24 hours without altering during the migration so we can properly perform the copy. If you can't get to your Xbox 360 or update your file share, don't worry, as the maps and game types are already uploaded, we will still make their way to MCC. When will I have access to my maps and game types in MCC? Since transferring these maps and game types to Xbox One and PC requires work to the current version of MCC, our intentions is that they will become available when Halo Reach releases on both platforms. With Halo 3 and Halo 4 content on PC becoming available once those titles are released. As we get closer and have a better idea of when we should land, we will share the exact date. How will I get the maps? There is no work required beyond uploading your files to your file share on all three games. After that, we will make sure that they get to the same gamer tag. Simply log into MCC on Xbox when the update drops and the maps and game types will be copied down for you. For PC players who have maps and legacy titles, you will need to load into MCC on Xbox after the update to make these maps available. After all the maps and game types have been copied over, we will f uh, they will be found in your local files. What about screenshots, films, and film clips? 
After extensively exploring, copying screenshots and videos, we were unable to find a workable solution to copy and migrate them to the new system. So unfortunately, screenshots, film clips, and films will not be transferred to MCC during this process. On the plus side, we are still investigating a way to bring screenshots to Halo Waypoint to make them viewable and downloadable. We are excited for this migration to happen and will look forward to bringing all the content you have created over the years into MCC. One additional piece people will be excited to learn that this change, we are increasing your file share size to help you share even more content with your friends online. We will continue to talk about this as we get closer to the deadline so that you're up to date with the latest before the process gets underway. The article continues to address a number of questions that the community has been asking around progression and seasons. Specifically, what the progression system is, what a season is, and what happens to the content and unlocks once the season moves on. The following is the developer's response. This was something that I saw also online being talked about. Our intent has and always will be that when a season is over, content doesn't disappear. You will not lose access to the ability to earn content from a season or the ability to use previously unlocked content. A core design philosophy that we have is given more options to players, and when it comes to earning things, we will not take this away from you. When a season's end, nothing will be taken away in terms of unlocks. If a new season starts that has a new theme, such as the release of the next title for MCC PC, it'll be additive and include new unlocks to work towards. For you, this means that if you haven't finished unlocking all the content for the first Halo Reach season, the Halo Combat Evolved season has started. You can now choose to continue working on unlocking content in Halo Reach season or use your new season points towards the unlocks in Halo Combat Evolved season. All content and unlocks are yours forever. Once they have been earned, if anything, we will look at new and fun ways to add content for you to work towards. The article continues talking about season points and the currencies that will be available to players within the progression system, how they will be able to earn them, and what they can be used on. This is the developer response. At season's launch, players will be able to earn season points by leveling up your global rank through competitive activities in the game that are played on dedicated servers. This will be for multiplayer and matchmaking and online firefight. Later on, challenges will become available and will also reward season points on completion. When you earn season points, you'll be able to spend them on Halo Reach armors, Halo Reach armor effects, and firefight voices, in addition to profile items like nameplates in the first season. Future seasons will offer profile items and possibly other unlocks. What exactly is a season made up of? The response is, a season includes a unique theme, new playlist and feature modes, and a series of new unlockables. When the season begins, players can earn unlockables from any previous season by purchasing the unlocks in order after they level up. Players and modes will rotate each season through popular gameplay experiences and can rotate back during future seasons. How will you earn XP to rank up and earn additional season points, as well as what changes have been made to improve how much time it takes to earn the XP. XP will be granted at the end of each completed game that is played on dedicated servers. This will include PvP multiplayer matchmade games and firefight matchmaking. XP will be awarded based on the length of the match and medals earned, but the medals earned will account for most of the XP. Medals will award XP in two primary categories, performance and teamwork. Performance medals include things such as killstreaks, style kills, and objective medals like flag captures. Teamwork medals are re rewarded for in-game actions like assists, protecting another player, or contributing to a score and objective game types. XPs will be capped for all players and categories, time performance, and teamwork per match. What are the different ranks being used in game? There will be a global rank and a matchmaking per playlist rank that players can level up. As players complete matches and earn medals, they will earn XP and eventually reach a new level of their global rank with 
each level having a unique name and icon. Per playlist ranks will be the same as they are in MCC currently, but will be reset at the beginning of each new season or if a playlist is added in. The global rank will also roll over for players who have reached the final level and will allow you to continue climbing through them in order to earn points towards seasonal unlocks. Once you have climbed to the top, currently around 30 levels, an additional unique rank will appear as you continue to advance through available levels. The rolling global rank is entirely separate from each matchmaking playlist rank, and levels will not be reset each season. So the first season will be coming online when Halo Reach is added to MCC. How was the path to completion built for Season 1? Season 1's path to unlock all content and system itself was influenced by the progression system used in Reach. The unlock path for Season 1 and Halo Reach is based on the costs and level requirements from the original Halo Reach credit system, as well as we have streamlined the system so that to unlock all the content in Halo Reach for Season 1 should generally take less time than it did on the Xbox 360. To gain all the points for Halo Reach's first season, what is the goal time of you aiming for players needing to play to unlock them? The goal for players who play a few hours several days a week will be able to unlock all seasonal items. We are estimating it'll take about 75 to 100 hours per season to unlock all the items for the season. That said, the season unlocks do not disappear after the season ends, and we may add additional ways to earn seasonal points later on. For Halo Reach's Season 1, after the season is over, can I still earn the unlocks from it? Also, for the unlocks themselves, will, will we be able to unlock all the content that Halo Reach on the Xbox 360 had? Are there any additional pieces of content that will be available? All retail content that can be unlocked in Halo Reach today by in-game methods will be available in Season 1. We are looking into ways to incorporate all unlocks that require account links, external apps, pre-orders, and even some previously unreleased content for Halo Reach as well. We can't commit to a full list until we fully understand the technical limitations and whether we have the required source art assets for each item. The article then moves on to make a few points about the flighting program, just that in the past, you know, that they had made a lot of builds and had many people coming in and out of each of them. And currently, as of June 28th to July 1st, they are having the flighting for Halo Reach on PC the very first flight, uh, it is extremely limited and a very small group of people is now testing that. I myself had not been invited to the very first one, unfortunately, even though I was actually very involved with the previous flights last year for the Xbox One. The article moves into some Q&A questions asking what will be the price for MCC. The Developer response is, on PC, we're excited to confirm that each game within the MCC will be included in Xbox Game Pass for PC subscriptions as they become available. In addition, each title can be purchased individually. Halo Reach, Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo 3, and Halo 4 will be offered at $9.99 on both Microsoft Store and Steam, while Halo 3 ODST within the MCC is currently available for $4.99. Players will have flexibility to purchase any or all of the games at any point as they become available. The Q&A moves on saying many people have on console been discussing features that are coming to PC and wanting them to come to the console, such as uh, field of view, higher frames per second, and options and other features that are being brought to the PC version. The article basically says that when it comes to field of view, that is something that they are looking into. However, higher FPS is kind of capped out by the Xbox One, quite possibly whatever the Xbox Scarlet is going to be. There is a good chance that you could raise the frame rate in your game or at least have it run smoother and faster at 120 frames per second, since that is what the console offers. But the frames is actually capped out at 60 on the Xbox One and even on the One X as well. 
the Q&A moves into them asking what will crossplay look like at launch. Crossplay from the PC store and Steam will be something that they're going to have fully functional, and crossplay between consoles is something that they're going to be looking into. It says, will we flight firefight? There will be firefight flighting at some point. There is no date set in stone, as there are a lot of work going on around it, but their goal is to have it for the public flight too. And of course, the big question is, when is Halo Reach in MCC on PC going to be released? And their answer is, when it's ready. And I'm pretty much okay with that. Now, this most certainly was a very big update, and I did not list off everything from the update. Again, I do highly recommend, if you guys are interested, to go over to Halo Waypoint and give this development update a read. It certainly goes into more depth on things that I have not touched on. Just again, what I felt was the most important points. But guys, do not forget, in order to be part of the conversation and to have your voice heard, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, everybody, thank you all for joining me here today, and I'll see all of you in the next video.